Yeah. Do, do now that you work in the porn industry, does your mom ever like come to you for like sex advice or anything like that? Yes and no. Um, she doesn't. She's not. She's not. Uh, this is what's really weird about my mom. I tell my mom everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. She doesn't tell me everything. So like months sometimes will go by where she is hooked up with someone and then she's like, oh yeah, I had sex with somebody like eight months ago and I just never told you. And I'm like, what? Like I tell you the second, you know, she's like, oh, I just didn't think it was worth mentioning and I just didn't want to say anything. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I, it's like, cause I'm just so open. The moment something happens, I just want to tell somebody. So. But do you think it's because she's your mother and she feels like she shouldn't tell you? I mean, it sounds like you guys kind of have like, like a friendship. Yeah. You know what I mean? To be honest, like, I don't mean to get too intense right now, but I think there's some, uh, you know, trauma, sexual trauma that has caused my mom to not be as open with certain things. Mm -hmm. She, you know, hasn't healed from certain things that have happened to her. And I think I've noticed that be a cause as to why she is sometimes private about sex out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Because I, sometimes she's not and sometimes she is. And I wonder where that comes from. And I think it's, because there's some stuff that's happened that she needs to heal from. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it interesting when we get older and we start to see our parents not as these like all-knowing beings, which they are when we're children, you know, mm-hmm. but as like real human beings and seeing like their flaws and seeing their limitations and considering the things that happened to them when they were younger that yeah. shaped them into being like who they are today. Yeah. Cuz I mean, I had something, you know, pretty bad happen to me and I needed my mom and you know, usually my mom is there for me and this was a situation where it was too hard for her to be there for me and I didn't understand why and I was just like why can't she be there for me with my assault like what's like you mm-hmm. know and it's because she hasn't dealt with the trauma of her assault yeah it's gotta be and then that was a heavy thing to recognize that like even though she's my mom and I need her for this I also am an adult woman and understand that she can't yeah like she's doing the best she can with yeah. what she's got yeah that's like I think one of the emotionally most emotionally mature things that we can recognize is and also like kind of forgiving our parents for you know things that maybe we felt like they did to us when we were younger or didn't do for us when we were younger and then you know coming to recognize that yeah everybody's just doing the best with what they what they got yeah and not everybody has great coping skills right or we're taught you know how to manage things when they were younger Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so. still hold a lot of resentment, which I don't like. And I think with age, that'll go away, yeah. I hope. You yeah. Know? Um, but I've been working on it. And, you know, I think me also moving away, like my mom and I are very codependent on one another. Mm-hmm. And so when I moved, um, that really changed our relationship for the better, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because now, you know, we're both – Oh, we still FaceTime like 24-7 and we're still like always involved in each other's lives. But – um. Yeah. I don't know. My mom and I, we have a oh, somewhat of a toxic relationship, I would say. We're a very tumultuous relationship. Um, but it, yeah, it has gotten better overall. Yeah. yeah. I think that will change as you get older. I know my yeah. relationship with my mom has changed. It's gone through a lot of changes mm-hmm. as I've gotten older. Yeah. So, you know. For the better? Yes and no. Yeah. I mean. Well, then now you have a baby too, which mm-hmm. is an interesting factor to add in as well yeah Yeah. I mean my so I started off in the adult industry working for my mom Mm -hmm. um and at first that was great and then it got difficult especially like when the model used to started to change of like the internet and everything like Mm -hmm. that so when we started photos were you know pretty much all anybody could download there Mm -hmm. was no video streaming and stuff like that Mm because bandwidth wasn't good enough so we did like really well because my mom was a photographer really And then when it started to shift and I started to see that we needed to move towards video, Mm -hmm. I started to push the need to shoot video. She didn't want to shoot video. Mm -hmm. So that was the beginning of us starting to butt heads. Okay. Um, And so we just, like, we fought a lot. Yeah. Um, And then when I finally, like, stopped working for her and started my own business, that changed our relationship for the better. Mm -hmm. Because, like, if I'm too involved with her, it's it's hard. She's a lot. Like, she's an intense person. Right. Um, And... uh, So, and now that I, and I moved back in with my parents two years ago, yeah, Mm -hmm. like two years ago to help take care of my dad before he passed. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm still there and I, now I don't see myself leaving because like I can't leave my mom alone. Yeah. But it is harder. I feel like a relationship is is harder now that I live with her again Mm -hmm. because she's like, 
It's right. She's right there. She's right there. Yeah. And she's very needy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's like a lot, yeah. you know? And I have a kid. Yeah. Um, which actually I think is kind of helpful. Does she help with the kid a lot? I mean, she does her best. Mm-hmm. She reads her bedtime stories every night. Okay. My mom is not the greatest babysitter. Okay. She loses focus. Mm-hmm. She has ADHD. Yeah. She sometimes doesn't enforce you know, like the boundaries that we're trying to establish Mm -hmm. with a willful toddler and you have to be consistent. Yeah, yeah. Um, So, you know, she's uh, she has her limitations. That's funny because I'm sure she's like, well, I raised you, so I'm sure I can do it. And look how I turned out. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I actually like sometimes I'm shocked at, you know, like I can't go to my mom for advice Mm -hmm. about my kid because she like doesn't remember how she raised me. Wow. Like, I swear, she's just like... like, It's a blur, yeah. Yeah, she's just like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, we just did whatever we did. So, like, it's weird. It's like Mm -hmm. she's forgotten that part. So I can't really ask her about it. But I have to say, it is difficult sometimes because, you know, like, Violet is... um, you know, she's a toddler, so she's hitting that Mm -hmm. willful stage where Mm -hmm. she pushes back a lot. She's testing boundaries and stuff like that. So um, she's been a challenge lately. And... Sometimes I get this weird projection where I'm like, I'll take something personally that mm-hmm. she does, but she's two and a half, right. you know, like I shouldn't take anything personally, but it's yeah. hard. And I'll, and I'll think to myself, oh my God, she already like thinks I'm as annoying as I think my mom is. Yeah. <laughs> so and I'll just be like, and sometimes I'll hold her, like I read her a story every night and I like hold her and rock her to bed and I'll hold her. And I'll be like, I won't be able to hold her like this always. Mm -hmm. Like, there'll be a time where she doesn't want me to, like, hug her anymore. And she'll kind of, like, push me away a little bit the way that I push my mom away sometimes. Mm -hmm. But that still doesn't change my behavior towards my mom. Yeah. Which sucks. Mm -hmm. Like, I recognize it sometimes. I'm like, I should be kinder. And not that I'm mean to her, but, you know, like, sometimes I just – I think it's just because I need my space Mm -hmm. and I don't have any – so I think if I didn't live with her and I had more space, then it would be easier for me to be, like, more affectionate with her. But because she's, like, always – You're just on top of each other. Yeah. Yeah. It's harder for me. But it's, but it, it's like, I'll recognize that, that disconnect between my mom and I, and I'll be concerned about that being the future with me and Violet. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't change my behavior towards my mom, even though it should. Right. Because, like, now I kind of know what it might feel like. I don't know if that makes any mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Well, and, it, and I, it makes sense. And it's also like when your your child has a full, fresh, like clean slate, just mm-hmm. like you did when you were a baby or mm-hmm. like all of us did. So it's like when your child comes to you and needs, you know, something and then you're, you know, like, oh, I, I can't do that right now or oh, whatever. Like your child doesn't really understand that like you have – like different emotional problems because that child is brand new to the world. So they don't have those problems that you have. So they're coming to you with full love and light and then they just get shut down. And then that's when those problems start to then get recreated in the child. Yeah. You know, like it's that that whole cycle pattern. I'm not saying this very eloquently, but like it's, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, and, and that's, (laughs) that's where like all of this, you know, newfound therapy Mm -hmm. and like guidance and child child raising comes in because it's all about like breaking that cycle and not making the mistakes that our parents made. I mean, honestly, like my parents were great parents. I had a good childhood. I Mm -hmm. don't feel, I mean, look, there's certain things that, you know, my, my parents did my mother more specifically, I wouldn't say traumatized me, but definitely like shaped me in certain ways that are not Mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm so, cognizant of that and I yeah. don't want to do that to Violet yeah. to the point where like I get paranoid yeah. about like everything that I do of you course. know like is this going to affect her in this way like I'm so You're the aware of it of, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and like trying to follow the gentle parenting thing I mean I'm not even kidding when I was getting ready for this podcast mm-hmm. I was listening I bought the the big little feelings mm-hmm. <laughs> workshop like toddler workshop thing online and I was like watching it yeah as I was getting ready because I you know I want to make sure that I raise her right but of course I'm human it's not it can't be perfect yeah and, what can you do I you, mean you just do your best, that's, your best. that's that's all 